and welcome to Two Tired Teachers. Today we want to talk about RV mattresses. And if you have an RV, you may know that finding the perfect size mattress is a bit of a challenge. If you want it custom made, you need to go to an RV mattress site and they charge a lot. We were really fortunate with the fifth wheel we were able to buy just uh, standard twin size mattresses at uh, big lots for a hundred dollars right at a hundred dollars yeah. a piece and they worked for four years we loved them that was great we thought they might work in here but they, they didn't. didn't we needed 33 by 72 well that's not a standard size so Mylena looked on Amazon and I looked and they didn't have any that were 33 by 72, imagine that. But they did have some uh, gel foam memory mattresses that were 39 by 75 for $76. So we thought, okay, if it's foam, we can cut foam. And we did not make the video of these arriving and all of that because we didn't know we were really going to love them. But it's solved a problem for us, and so we want to share with you as well. They arrived at Mylena's house. And they were in uh, boxes. We'll show you. The boxes were 39 long, and I'm thinking they were probably about 10 or 12 yes. inches square. And so uh, they were wrapped in plastic and then tightened with strapping tape. So I, I cut them loose. <laughs> then laid them flat, uh, one on my bed and one on the floor. And they were, they came in a mattress pad. They were about <clears throat> an inch thick and maybe an inch and a half. And so after about 24 hours, they had gone out to about four and a half inches. And so I came down and the mattress pad that was on it is cloth on top and kind of a rubber it has a little yes. bit of a texture to it on bottom, but it zips. And so we unzipped it and found <laughs> that the mattresses were, were also in what was kind of like a cheesecloth material that yes. really clung to the mattress. So what we did is cut the top off of that and rolled that cheesecloth down. Took it off. And took it off. Then actually measured and you would say, oh, well, you can just measure six inches by three inches and cut that off. That's if they're perfectly square. So what I did was I actually measured the 33 inches and marked that all the way down and measured 72 and marked that. Then took an X-Acto knife and made a, a marker, a trace, cut in the end of it where we'd marked it. A friend of mine had said, I'd tell her we were going to do this and use exacto knives, and she said, an electric knife. She'd used one to cut through foam, made it a breeze. I had an electric knife, so... I wouldn't say it was necessarily... It just, it wasn't hard at all. But, it was a little bit time-consuming, and I was glad we were both there to work on this. Uh, like I said, we didn't know this was going to work that well, or else we would have filmed ourselves doing it. But where I had made that, that marking that, uh, with the X-Acto exacto knife, that was my guide. I, I could still see the, the black marks, permanent mark or some, but the X-Acto knife. And Mylena, once I got it started, took just, the part that was coming off and just gently helped pull that so that we could make that. The first mattress, there was a little divot here and there. Not bad. By the second one, you can still tell which one we did. Yes. But... It They're worked great. great. And I would say to do both mattresses took us maybe 30 minutes. Yes. So for $76 Each. and 30 minutes. We have custom mattresses. Yes. But when we finished cutting them, we then took that cheesecloth material, simply rolled it back down the mattress, and actually it 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 clung to the smaller mattress. And then sewed the end <laughs> At the end of it, we are not seamstress. We knew that it was going to be inside actually two mattress covers, so took a stapler, <laughs> stapled that thing back together. Um, 
then put it back inside and you'll notice that the top the memory foam part is blue yes so we made sure that was against the cloth part of the mattress cover that came with it yes zipped it back in that was a little loose it really wasn't that bad for it was the gel foam that was blue. that was blue yeah, yeah. the memory part yeah. yeah and then we had uh already had mattress covers so we decided that we would use that on top and use some sheet straps to hold it down tightly and then got another set of sheet straps for the sheets it's been wonderful they've stayed on better than they ever did in the fifth wheel the mattress cover and the bottom sheet the fitted sheet uh, <laughs> sheets have mattresses have cover had changed greatly in the last 20 or 30 years <laughs> they're thick now and so the sheets have deep deep pockets using those sheet straps made the pockets just the right size for these mattresses yeah these mattresses they're as you can see they're perfect for the size that we have we were able to cut them make them custom for the space that we needed and they are extremely comfortable yes. have slept on them for four nights and it's awesome so if you have an rv and you're looking for a custom size mattress Maybe you can customize it yourself and yes. save a little money. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching Two Tired Teachers. teachers.